Hi everyone! Welcome to Crafting with Julia. I'm Julia and I'm so glad you tuned in today. If you enjoy my video, please hit the like button and leave me a comment. I love to get feedback from my viewers. Also, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you can be notified of all my newly released videos. Also, feel free to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I invite you to join my Facebook group called Crafting with Julia's Creative Community, where you can be part of my crafting family. All of those links are in the description below this video. Today's video is part of a DIY challenge hosted by Heidi Sandel. The theme is winter. I have three projects for you, so stick around, leave me a comment, and tell me which one is your favorite. I'd love to get feedback from my viewers. The link for the playlist is in the description below. As I said, I have three projects for you today. We're going to make some Christmas tree ornaments and a cute little penguin all snuggled up for the winter.
So you're going to start by um, downloading the pattern, cutting it out, and tracing it onto your fabric. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to take the body and you're going to cut one in white and one in black. So I sandwiched my pieces together, one white piece of felt, one black piece of felt, and I traced it on there. That's the body. The arms, you need to cut four. So I have this doubled up. You're gonna cut one and one. For the beak, you need to cut two. So I doubled this up. I'm cutting two. For the feet, you wanna cut four. So I have two of them doubled up cutting four. Now for the face, it's a little tricky. So you will see on the front of the face, I drew out the cutout. So what you're going to do is you're going to print out both pieces and you are going to trace this onto the front piece and you're going to cut that out. So when you put it onto your fabric, this is what I did. So my piece is traced on there, but I cut this piece out. So I trace that on and then I trace this part on and I cut this out. So that's this is cut out. So then I turn it over because I want to sew that to the front of the face. So you're only going to attach the white to that piece. And then you're going to sew around and then you're going to turn it around so that your marking shows and you're going to put it on the black piece and then sew that so that when you turn it right side out, this piece will be on the inside. Okay, so now when you're, when you're sewing, this, uh, this I explained to you already, you're going to leave when you sew the, the two black pieces together, you're going to leave the bottom open so that you can turn it right side out. With the feet, you're going to sew all the way around. And I will show you when we get to that how we're gonna turn that inside out and stuff it. But sew the two feet all the way around. The beak, you're going to sew just the U. You're gonna leave this part open. The arms, again, you're gonna sew all the way around. And then the body, you're going to sew around this way and leave this top open. Okay, so I'm gonna sew my pieces and then I'll come back and I'll show you how. We're so going. let me just show you how I sewed this. So I sewed around the white part and I trimmed it so that this part shows. And now I'm going to sandwich the two black pieces together. And now I'm gonna sew around here and leave this part open. Okay, these pieces I sewed, it's just sewing around, leaving the top open. I, I turned it right side out, that's the beak. The body is, um, the front is white, the, the back is black. So I just sewed that around, left this part open, turned it right side out. And now, with the uh, feet, I told you to sew all the way around. So what we're gonna do is now, we are going to cut a little slit and you're just gonna take the top piece, not cutting through to the bottom, take the top piece and just make a little slit so that we can get the, uh, the tool in there and turn it right side out. And same thing with the other one. Now, the slit part is going to be facing the body so you won't see this slit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, um, for those who know, who follow me, you know I always use this. This is a fabric turning tool by Dritz. Um, the link to this will be in the description below. Uh, I love this tool. Um, let me just make that a little bigger so I can fit it in there. It does come in three sizes. This is the size I use the most. But I love this tool because you just stick it in there. And I don't use the pointy side, I use the flat side. And I just turn my fabric inside out. Now usually if this was a thin fabric, it would slide right through the tube. But since this is felt, it's a little thick. So you just turn it right side out. 
And then now with the pointy side, I'll go in and I'll straighten out all my seams. So you just go around and straighten out all the seams. Okay, so that's how that ends up. So now we're just going to put the stuffing through that hole. And then if you want, you can sew that up, but you don't really have to because that's gonna get glued onto the body so you won't see that hole. And the same thing with the arms. We're gonna make a little slit. Now you have to remember there's a right and a left, so there's a little curve here. So um, the curve goes toward the front of the body. So you wanna make sure your slits are facing the body. So this is my right and left, so my slit will go back here. And the same thing on this side, it will go back here. Okay, and then I'm just going to turn them right side out and stuff them. Okay, so let me go sew this piece and we'll get back. So some of my pieces are stuffed. Now let me show you how to make the feet. So I closed it up where the hole was, and I made the indentations. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some thread, the same color. You're gonna start by going through here, and we're gonna make a ladder stitch to close this up. So you're just going to take this side, and then go to this side and just ladder it. Go back to this side. And now you're just going to pull it closed. Okay, that's how you finish that. And now you're going to leave the thread in there and we're going to go back through here and up to this corner. Then you're going to take the thread and go around and you're going to stick the needle through about right there and you want to come back to the other side in the same place. And then you're going to pull it tight and that makes the indentation. Then you're going to go around once more, pull it tight, go around to the same hole, come back up through the same hole, And pull it tight. Now you're going to go back through that hole and you're going to come up on the other side. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go through here, come up through the same hole, Pull it tight, and we're going to do that again. So, we're going to go back around through the same hole, pull it tight, and now we're going to go back in and come up through here. And now we're going to make our knot. Okay, and that's it. That's how we make the feet.
Okay, going on through the head, we're gonna do the same thing because I want a little indentation in the cheeks. When I put the eyes on, I want the cheeks to bulge out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna ladder stitch this closed. Then we're gonna go back through here. First, we're gonna make a knot. Okay, now we're gonna go back through here and up to the eye. And we're gonna pull it so that it makes a little indentation. So we're gonna go through here and out to the other eye. And we're going to pull it. See how we pull it and it makes a little cheek. So we're going to go back in here and go to the other side again. And we're going to keep doing that until we get the cheek that we want. Okay, now for the body, I wanna put a little weight in there so that when it sits, it will sit up and have a little sturdiness to the bottom. So we're gonna fill it with a little polyfill. I mean poly pellets. So I'm gonna get a little baggy and we're gonna stuff it in there. Then I'm gonna get my funnel. And I'm gonna stick it in the hole. like that. And now I'm just going to pour the poly pellets in there. And these are just weighted stuffing beads. That's all this is. It's called poly pellets. So I'm just going to put a little bit in the bag. Okay, we're ready to do the face. So I am first going to put on a little blush. Okay, now we're gonna <clears throat> glue on his nose.
Okay, now for his eyes, <clears throat> I just cut this out of felt. I just made um, a lash because I want it to look like his eyes are closed. And these are going to... Okay, now we're gonna work on the earmuffs and a scarf. So I have a two inch styrofoam ball that I'm going to cut in half with my styrofoam cutter. So I made two four inch circles to cover the ball. So what I'm gonna do is put that right over the ball and I'm gonna put some glue around the edge. I'm going to cover the ball. And then I'm just going to make snips in the fabric.
So for the headband, I got a piece of flexible cardboard and I cut it to six and a half inches. And now I'm going to glue the earmuffs to that. Okay, and then for the scarf, I'm just going to cut my fabric. Last but not least, I'm going to add this little cup that I got um, at Costco. Actually, last year it came uh, in a box of like 25, and what they actually had in them was um, hot cocoa packets. So I took all the packets out, and I'm using these for embellishments, and I think that would just look so adorable. So we're going to glue that right onto his arm here. And I think he is all done. He's all snuggled up for the winter.
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again real soon. Happy crafting!